Okay, breathing in, and breathing out again through the nose, in and out through the nose, breathing in, and breathing out again, breathing in, slowing the breath down, breathing out, well done, mm, lovely to see you. So today I thought I would talk a little bit about cultivating depth. Sometimes we can look around the world and we see that there's sometimes little depth. We're flitting from one thing to the next. We're not really prepared to look at ourselves. And as always, the reason I talk about these things is it's coming up in my own life. About looking at myself. Seeing that, and I talked about this in another video, talking about this polarity consciousness that we want to just be happy we want joy and there's something wrong with challenging times we don't want that it's painful yet the more I study spiritual teachings the more I learn from the masters I see that actually those masters have been through great challenges great suffering and yet they've transmuted it it's a bit like that video I put up about when life how life challenges make you grow about the house when we've had challenges the mansion which we clean out the rooms when we have our life challenges it really helps us to to grow when we become the silent witness. Now what's the silent witness? That means that something comes up, say for example, someone's rude to you, and you're just with that feeling, that sensation. You feel into it. And the analogy I always like to use, and I've used it many times in my life when it's felt really challenging, I imagine myself stood on the edge of a cliff, a tall cliff, with a sword in one hand and a shield in another, and I'm just the warrior, I'm facing this feeling. I'm not turning left and turning right, I'm just feeling that energy. I'm facing it, it's like being the warrior. Sometimes we think of being the warrior externally, but actually sometimes we need to be the warrior internally. I think it's more important to really be present because essentially that's what a warrior is it's uh, someone who has presence an inner warrior a warrior of the light so we start to cultivate depth when we become the silent witness when we watch well, this is what I'm feeling and we're with it It's almost like when we're in polarity consciousness, we have the light here, we have the dark here, and we just want the light. We, we don't want to deal with the darkness. And noticing in spiritual practice, when we start off spiritual practice, we want to, oh yeah, just nurture the light. And we want to deny the dark. Oh no, go away, go away. But in pol polarity, yeah, there's these two two energies but in unity consciousness they just are there is no right and wrong and you know if you do away with the darkness we well, are doing away with half of it that's what makes us whole feeling into our deepest pain deepest fears our deepest joy and just feeling it judging it not feeling that deep suffering that we've been through and just holding it and it's the silent witness we're just aware of how that feels and when that happens when we do that it's like the bonds and the, the, the change we have around our hearts like boom just open 
we start to break off this crust that we have around our hearts that when we're just looking for the light well the heart is is unity the mind is left and right you know um, good and bad whereas the heart is is unity and I was talking about this last night in a, a men's group that I do that in the heart it's like a crucible it's like the alchemist the alchemist's crucible and turning lead into gold transforming base metals into into gold and that's what the practice of silent witness is we're bringing all this energy into our heart and we're just with it and what happens is it boom, it opens it opens us up it's okay to feel vulnerability and I let it go it's okay to feel fear and I just feel into that and then I let it go I feel into my deepest joy and I let it go you know we know that the only constant in this universe is change yet we want to hold on to the light Ah, and when the dark comes on there's something wrong with me it's like no they're all perfect they're all perfect you're perfect <laughs> we're perfect my darkness is perfect my, my trauma my deep abuse is perfect and it's only when we bring it into the mind and we think it through and when we think it through it's not perfect it's anything but but when we bring it into the crucible of the heart it transforms everything that is where I cultivate depth it's where you cultivate depth in the heart and I see this is where the world is coming to this is where we're moving to that we as humans are seeing that our shining's not just in the light, it's in the dark as well. It means in the heart we don't act upon these things, that's what the head does. The heart just holds that space and we open ourselves up and when we feel into what we're feeling, we let it go. It's like a, a river, it flows. It's like chi, it just flows. But it's just chi, it's powerful all the same. So the practice of silent witness is something comes up and you just breathe into it. You imagine you can use a visualization of the sword and the shield facing on the cliff and you just watch this feeling come up. And you're just witnessing it. And you want to run away, you want to run somewhere else but you stand on the edge of the cliff and you face your fear, you face your joy and you just watch it. You, you cultivate depth that way. So thank you so much for watching these films. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being the leading edge. You are the leading edge of this new com humanity. One with open hearts. It's like, you are the ones. <laughs> so well done. Mm. Breathe into that, feel into that. You are. You are part of the leading edge of humanity here now. Well done.